Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Suggu and Jaggu Home Cooking. The mango season is on full swing and what's more than making a great dessert with it. So today I'm going to make mango custard. Let's get started. But before that, please subscribe to my channel Suggu and Jaggu Home Cooking. Make this delicious dessert. I am taking over here four ripe mangoes. So first in a bowl, I am taking two tablespoons of vanilla custard powder and adding some milk and mixing it to form a smooth mixture without any lumps. Now we'll take a saucepan and add 500 milliliters of milk or half liter of milk. Now we'll put this saucepan onto the stove and boil this milk. When the milk comes to a boiling point, we will add the custard mixture into the milk, stirring continuously without any fail. Stirring the milk continuously is a must as the custard powder will form into lumps. Now next I am adding 1 fourth cup of sugar and stir again till the custard cooks well. Now when the custard is well cooked, we will put off the stove and cool the custard completely at room temperature. Meanwhile, I am taking two mangoes and removing the pulp and putting it into a mixer grinder and grinding it into a smooth puree. Now, I am taking this smooth puree into a bowl and keeping it aside. Custard which has been under the fan for a while has completely cooled down now and now it is ready for the mango puree to be added into it. Make sure that the custard is not warm or hot otherwise it will curdle when the mango puree is put inside it. So definitely we should make it a point that the custard should cool down completely and then only add the mango puree into it. Adding the mango puree of two mangoes to the half liter milk custard is just right and sufficient as it gives a beautiful mango taste to this custard. Now we will mix this custard till a smooth silky textured consistency comes and when this has arrived we will completely cool it down in a refrigerator and not the deep freezer for 1 to 2 hours. We will meanwhile chop some fruits also and keep them in the refrigerator to cool. Now after 2 hours I am serving this custard into a nice glass bowl. First I have added some pieces of grapes, then bananas, pomegranates and mangoes and I have added this completely cooled custard into it. Finally here I am again garnishing with some chopped fruits of all types along with some dry fruits like some cashews, some almonds and some pistachios and see my beautiful and yummy delicious custard is done. Now there is another type of making this. First I am adding the entire mango custard into the bowl and then I am adding the chopped grapes, the chopped mangoes, chopped bananas and the pomegranates and give a good mix to this custard along with the fruits and then again garnish with some chopped fruits and dry nuts like cashews, badam, almonds and pistachios and then again place this in the refrigerator for another half an hour or an hour and consume this. Both the ways it is very very yummy and delicious. So I hope you like this video of mine. As you can see for yourself see how beautiful and creamy and yummy this custard looks so i'm sure you will definitely give it a try and make this mango custard this summer season so thank you so much for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel sugu and jaggu home cooking thank you so much